banjos, the most famous piece of music ever written for the five-string banjo. You can learn to play dueling banjos even if you've never played a musical instrument before. Dueling banjos is normally played around slowly first and then we speed it up later on. So the easiest way to learn it is by playing it slowly first. Everything that you learn to play slowly, you're going to speed up later on. And I'm going to give you some tips on that in another video. But for now, let's just concentrate on playing the slow section. Now the slow section consists of four pieces. There's the G, C, G strum part first. Which is pretty easy. Then we've got the walk up and down section. And then we've got something called the opening lick. And I call it the opening lick because a lot of people like to start the tune with this piece. And then finally there's the Yankee Doodle lick. So if you can put those four pieces of music together, you're most of the way to playing dueling banjos. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on playing the walk up and down lick. Now the walk up and down lick needs to be played three different ways. We play it in G first. Then we play it in C. Then we play it again in G. Then finally we play it in D. Don't worry about playing it in C or D for now. Let's just concentrate on playing it in G like this. So how do we do that? Well, the first note is easy, it's just playing the middle string with the thumb, and the left hand doesn't have to do anything. So try finding that first note and just play it a few times. Now for the second note, we need to use the left hand, and the left hand has to go on the second fret. So we're playing two notes on the same string by using the left hand and the right hand together. So try playing those two notes. Here they are again. And one more time. So try practicing those few notes until you can do that easily, and then bring in the third note, which is on a different string. And for this third note, we don't need to use the left hand again. So the first three notes, we've got two that don't need the left hand and just one that's using the left hand. So here's the first three notes. Here it is again. And once more, a bit more slowly. So try playing that a few times. And when you're ready, the next note is on the second string but with the first fret. Just here. So try adding that in to the three notes you already know. Here it is again. And 
you notice I'm using the middle finger of the left hand for this note, but the first finger for this note. And make sure to get the finger just behind the fret. It makes it a lot easier to get a good sound. So here's those first four notes again. And one more time. So that's nearly done with the going up part of it. We just need one more note, and that note is this one here. So try adding that on to the four notes you already know. Here it is one more time. And to show you what I'm doing, I'm opening my hand out completely so you can see the fingerboard. But don't do that when you're playing. Keep the fingers curled and close to where they need to be. So that's the five notes going up. And now we need to add two more notes going down. And we're going to play the same notes going down that we played on the way up. So the two extra notes we need are these two. So here's the whole thing. Five notes going up and two notes going back down again. And here it is one more time. And a bit more slowly. And here it is, just one more time. So that's the walk up and down part of dueling banjos. Once you can play that, you're about a quarter of the way to playing dueling banjos. To learn the rest of dueling banjos, visit my website, joflosen.com, and you can reach that by clicking the link directly below this video.